Hey guys, Chad back here with you on the RC Models and More channel and today we're going to be going over firmware updating the DJI Mavic and show you some things <clears throat> that could potentially cause you some issues when you are done with the firmware update. Now to do the firmware update you're going to need everything all charged up and as of right now you can use DJI Go app, the DJI Go 4 app, or the DJI Assistant 2 on the PC. So you're going to want to get those downloaded and for this case and purpose we are going to be using DJI Go because it will allow us to go forward or backward with the firmware update or upgrade. So if you open up the app you're going to see that there is a red indicator at the top telling us that there is a new firmware update available. <clears throat> I've already installed that and rolled my firmware back for the purpose of this demonstration. So let's take a look at what we need to do to get the correct firmware to get it loaded here. The little box in the top right hand corner there you're going to want to hold that down for a few seconds and when you hold that box down for a few seconds you are going to get a pop-up box that is going to say select firmware version now if you click on right there where it says 0 0.03.0000 it will actually bring up a list of what firmwares are available for the Mavic or DJI product. In this case, we are going to select the point the 2.0900 version. Once you've done that, click on the download button and the program will start to download as long as you are connected to Wi-Fi. Let that download for a little bit. Once it is done, we will see firmware refresh. It will say it takes approximately 15 minutes to install and you will be getting And it will continue installing the firmware. It is very important to just let everything go and do not worry about any of the flashing lights or the erratic gimbal movements. If we are done, you will see that it says 100% and firmware installation complete. Close out of the app and it will say update complete press complete and all everything is good to go but hold on a second we need to power off the Mavic we will see that we get an inconsistent firmware message for the battery running on a different firmware. So we're going to slide to update and if you watch the battery lights, the batteries will begin to blink and update so they can be used on the current firmware. And you can see that it is updating the batteries right there 
they take you about a minute each to do. Once they are done, it will say update complete and repeat this process with each one of your batteries. Now is a good time to verify all of your settings within the DJI GO app because when you do a firmware update, some of them will change. We are going to first go to the regular settings and enable multiple flight modes, adjust our return to home altitude, change our expo back to the way it was and verify all of our gain settings as well the IMU data looks really good even though you might want to do a new IMU calibration and stick calibration, but do not do that until the Mavic has cooled off. So we're going to calibrate the gimbal. Gimbal calibrated. Also adjust your low battery warning verify your measurement units and that should be about it we're ready for a test flight feel free to do whatever calibrations you feel necessary as this is a debatable topic